want another one of them. Oh! You just got ninja werewolves. Yeah. Y'all know what it is. Y'all know what it is. Welcome back, everybody, to the show. I am your host, as always, Jay Villain, aka That Villain Jay. And tonight we have a very special treat for you 1000 Thieves. It was originally 100 Thieves, but that's the name of that streaming group. So I made it more Thieves. Rogue Ninja Card Thievery Demir. Yes. Yes, that's what we're doing, guys. Didn't you just run a Demir deck? Yeah, but that's Ninja Demir. It's a Ninja Sacrifice Demir. That was kind of half an alchemy deck. Eh. Plus, I'm in a Demir mood. I think the whole world's in a Demir mood right now, aren't we? Leave a comment if you've been in a Demir mood lately. So I'm, I know it's been a couple of days since my last Demir, but a very different idea and build here. So, uh, and, uh, you know, everything I do is I want a little bit of, want a little darkness in it, right? So we're going to do uh, 100 Thieves. And we'll call it a thousand thieves, why not? Before we get down to this, though, I need you to do something for me. Do you know what that is? Tenderly press that like button. Gently press that subscribe button. Or else, well, guys, the like and subscribe will come and brutally maul you if you do not. That is a YouTube werewolf with a light cycle and a techno arm who will attack you for not liking the video. It's right down there. Just an easy click for you. And uh, subscribing to the channel. We are the fastest growing Magic the Gathering YouTube channel on the internet and that is a hundred percent true don't look it up join us on our stream every night at twitch.tv slash that villain j for all the live streaming goodness first time streamer shout out to imminent fate he just showed up he or she or they i don't know they just showed up welcome imminent fate we'd love to have you there every night about 11 p.m that's when we start eastern time check out our discord community for all the latest news and information all the spicy memes and deck builds you can find this deck and all the other ones that I build down below on my Aether Hub. Uh, the link's right down there. And of course, I would like to extend a personal invitation to you to help support di me directly by becoming a member of the channel and getting a bunch of cool bonus perks like VIP chat, uh, suggesting decks and cards once a month, all kind of cool stuff like that. So click that join button if you do want to help support me. So um, let's get into it. What are we talking about with Thievery here? So we are going um, Rogue, obviously, and we're going a little bit more Ninja on here. Um, and uh, and we're going a little bit more control with the counter spells. That's going to be important. We're going to start with Thousand Face Shadow. I like Thousand Face Shadow. It's a good early card to just fly in. Uh, so it can it's, it does get unblocked. It's a ninjutsu. It's a little expensive, and it can copy a card that's on the board, which is pretty cool. Uh, but it's a good early play. Um, again, expensive thing, but basically when it enters the battlefield, enters if it's attacking, create a copy. Um, if it enters from your hand, if it's attacking, create a token copy that's uh, a copy of another target attacking creature. Then the, the token enters the battlefield tapped and attacking. Um, so basically you can do anything you want with that. Very, very cool. Blood Chiefs Thirst. A little bit of early removal, a little bit of late removal. No real reason I chose Blood Chiefs or any other kind of removal. You can put any kind of removal you want in there. Um, sure, if you want the scry or anything else. I just throw Blood Chiefs because uh, I kind of wanted anti-aggro stuff some get some early things removed anti-cognition i know this card people don't like this card but there's a reason behind it i chose anti-cognition specifically if you don't like it pick something else tell me what you would put in there instead i chose anti-cognition because i want to hit those aggro creatures coming out those turn two turn three creatures uh that are trying to really hit there especially in white uh lock them out and an opponent has eight or more cards in their graveyard instead counter that spell um, automatically if they have eight or more and we are going to be milling a little bit we are going to be throwing cards in their graveyard and then we scry too so that is very very useful um, so it is early counter target creature or planeswalker unless it's played two if the opponent has eight or more instead counter the spell and then scry too so anti cognition is pretty good in case you're milling and we are going to be doing a little bit of that we are going to be filling the graveyard so I do like that a little bit of Juara disruption a little bit of bonus um, 
counterspell there. I do like hitting Jawara and then Anti-Cognition. I feel like that's a one-two punch people hate. That's a scoop punch right there. When you say, okay, pay one, and they're like, fine, I pay one. I don't get it. And then you're like, oh, pay two more. Oh, you don't have two more. Sorry, buddy. Uh, it's got to go in the trash now. Um, that's that's that kind of classic Demir move that I like to pull. So Jawar, a little bit of extra land, a little bit of extra uh, counterspell. Negate, just a little classic there. If you want to put something like so at coming, sure. I don't often want to have to foretell things. I kind of just want to get the non-creature spells out. I'm really aiming for the board wipes and the removals and the enchantments. So uh, that is kind of why we're doing that. Um, so just uh, just any kind of removals, any kind of things that are going to slow them down. Really want to control the tempo of this of this game. Cradle of Baldur's Gate. Very, very useful card. Doesn't get in a lot of play. Human Elf Rogue. Um, whenever Cradle of Baldur's Gate deals combat damage to a player, that player loses one life and mills a card. Then you gain one life and scribe one. Um, fantastic. So again, we're hitting a mill here. Whenever you attack, you may pay two. If you do, target creature can't be blocked this turn. So ninja-ing in and out. Um, um, fantastic for that specific reason if you want a ninja in make sure that they're not blocked that's going to be great losing losing a life gaining a life and scrying and milling um really really effective there and he's a rogue of course silver fur master the rogue command uh the rogue captain uh one black and one blue master splinter rat ninja um ninjutsu abilities you control yeah, nin ninjutsu abilities you activate cause one less to activate very very useful to get those expensive thousand base shadow ninja costs down and then of course other ninja and rogues you creatures you control get plus one one uh really really useful there man save it insight now we're getting to a little bit of fever here right one black one blue look at the top two cards in opponent's library exile one of them face down and put the other on the bottom of your library um you may look at look at and play the exiled card for as long as it remains exiled and you may spend as spend mana as though a man of any color to cast that spell um you've got to got to got to got to steal cards that's what we're here for we're here to thief we're here for thievery we're gonna have a bunch of different things to be able to uh to steal cards from them that's the whole idea guys and then of course we have the flashback so we can keep playing this uh this many siphons is really like eight siphons in your deck so they're going to bring a whole toolbox of things, and we're going to steal that toolbox. Soaring Thought Thief, great stuff here. One three, one black, and one blue. Flash Flying, Human Rogue. As long as an opponent has eight or more cards in their graveyard, rogues you control get plus one. Very, very useful, because we do have rogues. Um, whenever one or more rogues you control attacks, each opponent mills two cards. Again, filling the graveyard up. Prosperous Thief. Uh... Apparently this lady wanted to steal a fish, is what is happening in this in this uh, this illustration here. I never really noticed that until just now, and it, it's kind of thrown me. Okay, she is stealing a koi fish. Okay, anyways, um, one, bl one blue and two human ninja, three two ninjutsu, uh, one blue and two. Whenever one or more ninja or rogue creature you control deals combat damage to a player, create a treasure token. So I really like this one because we are running a rogue ninja hybrid. So anytime any of our rogues, um, uh, any of our rogues or ninjas do it, we can get those gold out, which is really, really useful. Drew Ronan says it is clearly a goldfish. Yikes. Um, yikes, man. Now here's another lovely uh, thievery thing here. Nashi Moon Sagish Scion, Rat Ninja, legendary creature, ninjutsu, uh, two black and one. The ninjutsu is a little bit less on black, but, the, uh, but more all, all together. One black and three. When Nashi Moon Sage deals combat damage to a player, exile the top card of each player's library. Uh, until the end of your next turn, you may play one of those cards. If you cast a spell this way, pay life equal to its mana value rather than paying its mana cost. So that means that you can just pay life, basically a Phyrexian cost. If you if you know your if you know your MTG mechanic, you can pay a Phyrexian cost instead of mana by stealing stuff off of your cards, off the top of your deck or the opponent's deck. Again, wonderful thievery with Nashi Moon Sage. Uh, don't have too many of her because she is legendary. 
Kaito Shizuki. There was a little bit of back and forth. Originally, we did have, I'm going to look at the sideboard here, Xanthar Guild Kingpin, because we are running a Thieving Skill here, and his buddy Silgar, 5-4 Beholder. You can run him. He's a little expensive, but with the gold generation and, and a lot of mana, you can pull some stuff off here. Um, however, if you don't want to run Xanthar, you can run Kaito Shizuki. Both of them will do fine. Um, he'll let you draw a card. He'll create unblockable ninjas. And then whenever you uh, creature you control deals combat damage, search your library for a blue-black creature card, put it on the battlefield. If he let you search your opponent's library for a different card uh, and then take it, yeah, I'd like him more because then we're thieving. But um, really, really good stuff there. Either one, I do like Xanthar. Um, I did play some with Xanthar and I did play some with Kaito. If you just want to bend the cheapness up or down, uh, again, Xanthar is pretty expensive, or if you want to split the difference, one Xanthar and one Ka uh, Kaito, that's fine. And we're going to finish it off with a very seldom played card, but a very useful card, I think. Only two of them, King Narfi's Betrayal. Um, it's a saga. Each player mills four cards, then you may exile a card, a creature card, or planeswalker card from a graveyard. That's turn one. Um, one black, one blue, and one. Until the end of your... Uh, turn you may cast spells from the exiled cards and you may spend mana though m mana of any color to cast those spells um, Very 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 useful again thieving milling and thieving you're getting the idea So we are filling the graveyard to make anti-cognition better to make soaring thought thief better um, To get all these things more and more powerful and then we are milling their deck first turn then the next two turns we have the opportunity to start playing cards um, from the t uh, from their graveyard and really really starting to hurt them start narrowing down their options really ripping their deck apart ripping their hand apart controlling what hits the board it is going to be very useful nine islands one hive of the eye tyrant if you want to put two in there sure no problem um, seven swamps four clear water clear water pathways you do kind of want an even divide here it is going to be pretty even um, 2.1 average obviously the xanthar bends that pretty higher too uh, that will push it kind of higher, but he is in the sideboard right now. I wouldn't really call it aggro. It's more of a tempo kind of mid-range type thing, despite it being cheap. Because um, it does take a little bit to get those wins. It's not like a Boros aggro, so it's a bit misleading to call it aggro. More blue than black, believe it or not. 18 creatures, don't worry about that too much. 12 instants, 4 sorceries, 2 enchantments, 2 planeswalker, 22 lands total. Don't worry, those Jawara disruptions are actually more lands. And we do have 4 cards that tr uh, treasure generate. Um, whenever we hit with a, uh, whenever we hit with a rogue or a ninja, horizontal gang, where you at, man? What do you think? Tell me what you think. Tell me what you'd mind. Do you, are you on team Xanthar or are you in team Kaito? We had a big debate about this in the stream. I like Xanthar. They like Kaito, but hey, man, um, either one is fine. Tell me what you think. Uh, and that's where we're going to run it there. One, two, and three. If you want Xanthar, he's going to be the six banger spot there. He's going to come out late in the game. And of course, what he does, he lets you look at the top card in their library and play it and spend mana at any cost. So he just steals stuff from the top, as we like to do. So that's what we're going to be doing here tonight. Um, we're going to be ripping it, ripping it, ripping it, and uh, thieving, pushing up. It's, it's renewal day where we actually got knocked back to gold. So um, we're going to be uh, crank it through gold and get back into platinum and start to climb once again. Here we go, boys. Don't forget to leave a like and a comment. Oh, bonus game. Bonus game. You got back to silver because you've been a slacker. I got knocked back to silver uh, when Alarunes was taking over. When Alruns was, and I was, I was like at flat plat, and I didn't even feel like playing. I got knocked back to silver. It was humiliating. Uh, you know how to get me to pay that. First of all, I don't know how to. I don't know what that song is. That's number one. Um, there seems to be some sort of idea that I'm a jukebox. Um, I don't actually know every song on the face of the earth. Um, but, uh, uh, I don't know that one. He's going to play Halvar. Halvar is the lightest card in the world. It floats to the top constantly. 
going this way. Okay. I could be lying just because he didn't pay. I used to sing Wrecking Ball all the time. As you may right now know this, I sing um, um, when I was playing Robert uh, because I used to smash through walls and charge everywhere, um, which was pretty funny. He's going to put down, um, yeah, he's going to put, oh, Cemetery probably. That's kind of random. I came in like it. I would charge in to like everywhere. Oh, oh no, you don't want to attack on me. I came in like a wrecking ball. All you ever wanted, thank you, bro. You wreck me. I came in like a wrecking ball. All you ever wanted, blank or blow. You wreck me. You, you wreck me. go what are you gonna do man you try to like Averbach you try to Averbach your way out of this one man I gave it like a ring you know. oh he's gonna Arlene okay yeah you can't play that that's for suckers man you don't wanna play that that's for losers. Let's see. That's going to be a grand total of... Uh, what's the butcher's bill here? 8 and 8 is 16. Um, I can take it. Thousand Face Shadow, Ninjutsu you in Thousand Face Shadow. Want well, another one of them? Oh, you just got ninja werewolves. Yeah, y'all know what it is. Y'all know what it is. I just ninja your look. I just ninja your look. You wreck me. What was happening in chat? Good lord, I was not paying attention. I was so focused on ninjing. I lost control of chat. Oh my goodness. Alright guys, let's try 100 Thieves. I've had this Thief deck out for a while. Let's see if this is Ninja Thieves, man. 
Yeah, Monday's my worst day. It's a staff meeting over Zoom all morning. I got to catch up on the weekends and all that. Um, so, yeah, it's pretty busy, man. It's pretty busy. By the way, if you hadn't... Um, ooh, I'm sorry to hear that, man. If you haven't seen today's deck, man, it is out. It is very good. Uh, I had a little incident where the the wrong deck went up. Um, so make sure that you saw it. Um, Silver for Master, Prosperous, Steve, Cridal. I think you get rid of Prosperous. So yeah, if you haven't seen today's deck, man, go check a look at that. Silver Raven. Yeah, this is this blue, uh, this blue, uh, whatchamacallit. I'm gonna do Cridal. Probably get a knockback. to it. What was supposed to go up? Oh, uh, the it, it went up. It just went up an hour late. It just ended up going up an hour late, that's all. Abel Gale Tricks. We ain't seen you in a little while, Abel. What do you mean the cheese? The cheese stands alone, man. You don't like the cheese. More counter. Like this guy who's got nothing but fucking counter spells in his hand. Hey, what's up, Zodium? He's got some ninjutsu something else. No, he's not gonna ninjutsu something else. I know. Here. Yeah, man, that gets really old fast, huh? That gets really old fast, doesn't it? That's correct. You did it right, uh, Trez Daddy. Celes Nia. That's what it is. 
Selesnia. Dune deck? I don't know what that is. You mean Ruin deck? Like, uh, uh was it Jeskai Runes? Naya Runes? Moon Circuit Hacker. Let's put down Moon Circuit Hacker, huh? How's about it? Let's make him mill some stuff here. Puff. There you go. Oh, he's got some fucking ghosts in the in the thingy there, huh? Anti cognition. You don't need that, man. That's that's for suckers. Uh, what do I want? Prosperous Thief? There we go. Well, now it's left me with an absolute, uh... It's left me with an absolute fucking, uh... Chalk full of notes here, huh? Let's do this. Let's ninjutsu myself in. Swap. Kerbango. Bring him back out. Kerbango. Puff. There we go. Treasure. It means I got two counter spells. I got two negates. I got two negates. What do we got? This will be interesting if I actually pull this one off, man. If I actually actually pull this out of my ass somehow. Oh, a thousand base shadow. Okay. Um. So let's do. Um. How many creature cards can get graveyard? So everybody gets plus one. Uh, a thousand base shadow. I want to hit silver for master. Um. Alright, so who else do I want to hit? I gotta leave somebody ready to go here. So let's push in that guy, that guy, and that guy. Make it mill. Alright. Ninjutsu. Um, return an unblocked. It's going to be the Moon Hacker Circuit. And we do another Prosperous Thief coming in. And there we go. Oh my goodness. Running it on one wheel, one bullet, and an ounce of gas. Okay. Oh my goodness. Very nice, very nice clutch win there, man. Um, all right, not bad. Hundred thieves. Uh, I don't know if I can imitate. I don't know if I can duplicate that again, but uh, we'll give it a shot here in a second, guys. We're this, this, this close to getting the double pack opening here. I got that eight hundred gold. Bugger man, 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 bugger man. Bugger man. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, how's everybody feeling though? We feeling alright tonight? Everybody enjoying Elden Ring? Listen guys, Elden Ring is so freaking huge. Like, I thought I knew how big the map is. And when you go to the map screen, spoiler, here's a spoiler. Turn it off if you don't want to fucking hear about it. Um, that map screen is lying to you. It's way bigger than what the map screen shows you. It is fucking lying. 
it's like, oh, okay, well, the, the grayed out spaces are where it's fucking where it is. Nope, it totally isn't. It is fucking lying to you. It is way bigger than that. Um, that game is literally lying through its teeth to you. Um, which is pretty funny when you think about it. Yeah, that game is lying through its teeth to you, man. Absolutely. It's a way... It's a freaking huge, man. The amount of stuff in that game... Here's the problem. It's a little tricky for me to post Elden Ring to YouTube. Um, so it's going to be... Uh, it's going to be a little tricky to uh, post Elden Ring to you. I'd, I'd like to. i got to figure out a way to record it. My graveyard. Oh, yeah, I'll play that. Junji, yeah, I'll take that. I'd like to. I'm not really an Elden Ring channel, but I mean, I'd like to. I'm not like an Elden Ring lord by any means. Like, I am not a fuck. The first Dark Souls game I played was Dark Souls 3, and I played that like maybe six months ago. Three months ago, maybe? I don't know. Um, I never really got into them, and I finally really wanted to play Elden Ring, and I said, oh, I better play Dark Souls 3. Sekiro did not look like it was up my alley. Um, no, I'm not. No, I'm playing on a different system. What do we got? Environmental sciences, okay. Mill those two cards. Please and thank you. Okay. Ninja. Got some sort of removal here, man. That's cool. Removal's always fun. Everyone always forgets King Narfi's betrayal, man. Everyone always forgets um, King Narfi's betrayal. Don't forget King Narfi's betrayal. Not only is the art sweet as fuck, man. It's a really good card. Hunt for the specimens. Very nice. Anybody there? Am I losing? Am I losing y'all? What's going on? 
Um, I am worried about a wipe, so I'm going to hold steady here. There it is. Uh, there is the wipe. I figured we were getting there. Yeah, no, it's it's pure board wipe, man. No, you're right. It is 100% almost entirely board wipes out there, man. It's uh, it's uh, damn near. Damn near everything. Yeah, it's just it's just build boost until board wipe. That's basically that's basically the whole that's the whole name of the game. That's that's the name of the game, pretty much. Build boost until wipe. What needs to happen is fucking Wizards needs to cool it on fucking the board wipes. That's what needs to happen, man. Hey, Sailfish Comics. How you doing, Sailfish? They just need to fucking cool it on the on the wipes. We won't be having this kind of issue again over and over and over again. Just need to fucking cool it, man. Um, choose up to two. I will take a... One of them and a oh, one of them. Not in my graveyard. I will take a Xanthar. Done. Thank you. Hey, thank you, New York Street Heart. Um, Invigorate Despair. Oh, he's gonna get rid of my Narfies. Another one, and he's gonna kill me with the one there. Yeah, this is just mono black control. I love mono black, and I can't even play something like this, man. I do actually occasionally like to attack with creatures. Those mono black, that's just nothing but kill cards. And wipes. I can't stand those. Yeah, that does suck. Uh, opponent goes first. Hayamimi. Hayamime. Let's do Cradle. Boogie man, boogie man. Direct removal. There you go. Bro, I love mono black. That's even too boring for me, man. I need at least a little bit of action in there. Hey, what's up? Trey, Darkness, uh, Abel Gailtrix, how you doing? Buggy Man, Selfish. How's everybody out there tonight? New York, Crash Boom Bang, Luis Jonas, Raven Knife, Trevbat, Zodium, how you doing? Raven Knife, what's up? Anyto, Abel Gailtrix, Driver, Stig, Clever. Everybody get a chance to see uh, Snow tonight, man? She was doing her thing there in uh, Elden Ring.
She was doing her Elden Ring thing. Ah, oh, that's too bad. Um, let's do Siphon Insight. Ooh, yeah, I'll take Invoke Despair. Who's it always is, is complains? Is it you, Raven, that, um... Yeah, I already got my tickets, man. Raven that always complains, why do people keep playing, uh... <clears throat> why do people keep playing Valky? He's not good. I already got my tickets, man, for Friday. I already got my tickets for Friday. Really? You think so? Raven hates him, man. Raven fucking hates Velky. Um, that's what's funny. Well, I might as well, uh... If I gotta discard a card, might as well get the anti-cognition off. Puts one less blocker on the board. Um... And then, uh, should we invoke? That's not invoke yet. Let's do, let's do that. Silver fur. Um, and then let's wait. Yeah, yeah, it's a uh, season renewal is always a tough time. Season renewal is uh, always a tough time. Um, it's the most seasonal time of the year. I wish they actually did it on the first. I would prefer that. Um, let's see, is he going to hit another removal? Another one, man. Nice. Nice. So let's do that. Let's siphon. So I've been trying to grind out some of the bosses and I don't realize how hard the bosses I'm on are until I go uh, uh, until I go into the um, a different boss that's like a lesser level and that I absolutely um annihilate them like I was grinding out the main the main line boss and I'm like man I've almost got this guy but he's so hard I was like all right well uh <laughs> all right clever sounds we'll see you man um I was like he's so fucking tough though man this dude is fucking crazy tough and then um I'll be like all right let me just go I'll, I'll do a different boss I'll do a different boss um and so I do a different one and then I fucking smoke the dude like immediately and I'm like holy shit <laughs> like I went to a different castle and fucking fought my way to the end and fucking I was like, alright, oh look at this crazy dude, huh? Um what what's his deal, you know? Uh and then uh I went up to him just was like whoop 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 pop 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 
and uh, just immediately uh, just just fucking one battled him. Didn't even fucking go through uh, more than one battle with him, man. Just absolutely crushed the dude. And I'm like, oh damn. I said, well, the dude I'm on must be fucking serious, man. The dude I'm, I'm on must be the fucking he must be the fucking truth, man. Good lord. I will take Junji. Thank you very much. This guy may be playing my deck. I'm not sure. Um, Alright, let's... No, I don't have Cube in my deck. Very similar, though. Um, let's get rid of Cube. Why not? Kerbango. And uh, I'm like, man. I'm putting out some freaking damage, if that's the case. And Hayamime is out of there. All right. Two up, one down. Not bad. Let's see if we can keep it running on a thousand thieves. I'm sorry about that meat hook situation, my dude. Um, but uh, I, that wasn't mine. I stole that. You didn't have to ask that guy. I didn't bring that in. Yeah, I stole that from him. So you're gonna ask you're gonna have to ask him that question. Um, he had he had him in there. I think he probably had both because he had um, he had uh, Elder Fang too in there. He had played both. So all right, let's go a little pack action here, boys. A little pack action, right? Uh, I know. I got to do Naya runes eventually. I just feel like everyone's tired of Naya runes, man. I feel like people are really just don't even want to see uh, Naya runes. Ooh, Kura the Boundless Sky. Very nice. Mythic Rare. Uh, Greater Tanuki. Very nice. Oh, and another Mythic. Two Mythic Rares in a row. Nice. Okay. I got to save up. We got to... Um, so, it has to do with logistics and viewership. I've kind of built my channel on kind of not following trends. And when I do a bit of a trendy deck, um, people generally don't watch it because they kind of are looking for me to do weird, um, weird shit. I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's just my viewer base. Maybe it's just my perception. But if like something's real hot and then I do a version, um, generally it doesn't do real good because everyone's like, I've already seen that one. Um, uh, sometimes it does, but more often than not, people are just like, eh, they're lukewarm on a reception of, um, all right, guys, last one here, Zarathur, how you doing, man? I mean, you could add him, I just didn't feel like he was a great fit. Ala Manzano Art. How you doing, my dude? Wow. Hey, Stig. Well, thank you for coming by. Cobra Bass. How you doing? Trev Bad. I see you, bro. Blaberg. Okay, Blaberg. What are you doing, Blaberg? I 
I think this guy may be AFK. Portable hull? I'll take that, thank you. I think Blobberg is kind of... Uh, I think Blobberg is not, is not there. I mean, we can do that, definitely. It's, it's, it's a hot swap. Um, I like the siphons too much, man. The siphons are kind of the backbone of the deck. They're, and they're not three, they're actually two, and they come back as a three. Um, it's, I don't want to bend it back towards just the standard ninja deck. I, I really want the thieving. That's kind of the idea. Because I do have Nashi Moon Sage, and she's a thief too. Um, so I really do want to do the thieving thing. That's kind of the idea. Like, we could just bend it back toward the standard ninja deck, but that's defeating the purpose of running a, a non-thieving deck. And okay, he wants to do nothing. All right, excellent. Um, and he Blobberg just gets out of there. All right. Yeah, I mean, I do have a little bit of ramp with him. Um, Biting Palm is not really necessary. I mean, it's exile, it's hand exile. I feel like he's... Uh, I feel like he's not great. Let's do... You know what? We'll do one with Kaido. How about that? We'll do one. Just, just, just for shits and giggles, man. Just for you guys, because I love you guys. We'll do one with Kaido, huh? How about it? How about it? We're going to swap out these Stanthars and we're going to do Kaido in there, right? There you go. Easy peasy. I'm going to give it a shot. Flying turtle cat. Nice. Commune with spirits. Very cool. All right. Let's put down Cridal. Okay, so it's a Selesnia enchantment. Big surprise, the new favorite. Kamiya Transients, very cool. So we're going to put down a black card. Watch the game stutter a little bit. Um, we're going to pop the Kamiya Transients. We're going to put down that. And then we're going to swing... Yeah, I want the removal. Generous Visitor. And a Spirited Companion. Very nice. Okay, so why don't we Silver Fur it up? Kill the generous visitor. Swing in. Scry King Nerfy. No, I don't want that. He can play his and he can play his lockout, but I think he's a little bit behind the eight ball here. I think he was expecting to be a little bit farther ahead.
And I can bring in Nashi. There's the bar of time. Silver fur. I can bring in the Nashi. Mm, not a great idea. Um, decline. Uh, we will Nashi in Ninjutsu for Cridal. Give him a big hit here. Kerbango, Kerbango. And then we can play a uh, Borrow Time on for free by paying the life on his Borrow Time, which will bring back my Silver Fur Master. Which will cause him to put a Ruin down to draw a card. Which will cause him to confine. And he's going to confine. Chihuahua. It's going to put him down to two. He might have a wipe here. I don't know. Let's see. Kami of Transients? No, that ain't going to be a chief. That ain't gonna be it, unless you got removal. Cause I'm gonna ninja the shit out of you right now. I'm gonna ninja you. Yeah, sorry, flying turtle cat, that's gonna be it. There we go. There you go. Alright. Good way to end it right there. We didn't get to see Kaido, but yeah, I mean, he works. I'm trying to bend it a little bit more towards thieves. Um, um, then, then you create a hole in the space-time continuum, Tres Daddy. If you borrow, 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 borrow. Um, yeah, aggro chance dope. Yeah, I, I lucked out and pulled that extra. I pulled a exile on his exile too, which, you know, if they're gonna bring their own exile, you might as well use it. You know. Um, Good one, Trey Daddy. Able Giltrix, good job, man. All right, we're going to leave it there. Uh, I think the word of the day is going to be lockpick because that's what you need to thieve things. That's what you need for thievery. 1,000. I'm not even going to call it 100 Thieves because that's the name of that streaming group um, that put out that weird video that about the Cash App thieving, the 100 Thieves Cash App compound. You guys remember that when everyone was watching that and joking on it? Um, that was pretty funny. Um, all right, guys, until next time, I've been Jay Villain, and you've been great. Bye-bye.